With all my papers turned in and finals completed, school is over for the year, and a lot of people have been asking me, what are you doing for the summer? Usually my answer would be working in a parish, but this summer is going to be a little different. While going to seminary is really important, and nine months out of the year we're flooding our minds with information, being an effective pastoral minister requires much more than just academic training. Without real hands-on experience working with people, understanding what the church really needs, and developing pastoral skills, we'd be nothing more than walking encyclopedias. Really helpful in writing a paper, but kind of useless when dealing with real-life situations. In the past two summers, I've been assigned to parishes here on the East Coast and have been able to play to my strengths. This summer is going to be a little different. In hopes of learning some Spanish, one of my classmates and I will be spending two months in Mexico living with the friars there and receiving extensive training in the language. This will be a full immersion experience as we're told that the friars there speak almost no English at all. But that's not even the half of it. While language will obviously be our main focus, we'll be doing much more than that every day. The place where we're going, called La Setenta Dos, is not a language school or a suburban parish. It's a migrant center for refugees and immigrants. Located just beyond the Guatemalan border, the center offers comfort and asylum for hundreds of men and women fleeing violence or poverty in their home countries, giving them food, shelter, and much needed dignity. Most have already traveled hundreds of miles by foot to get there, and many will be traveling thousands more in hope of finding a better life. This is where our charism comes alive, and why we in formation are encouraged to go on trips like this. As Friars Minor, lesser brothers as St. Francis named us, we're called to work not only for the poor and the marginalized of the world, but to be with the poor, as the poor, to experience what they experience, and to know what they know. As a white, middle-class, straight male, living in America with a college education, good health, and friends and family who support me, it's not very often that I feel lesser in our society. In almost every way, I'm part of the majority, and with that comes a lot of undue privilege. As hard as I try to live a simple life, I really don't know what it feels like to be an outcast, to be different from everyone else, to be unfamiliar in a place in which everything I know and love is gone, and even simple tasks are difficult. To be unable to communicate how I feel or what I need, either because I don't know how or I don't know anyone well enough to do so. This is the reality of the migrants at the center. This is the reality of so many who come to our country. And this, to a very small extent, will be my experience in Mexico this summer. And I can't wait. Unfortunately though, this means that I won't be able to make any videos this summer. But that doesn't mean you can't follow me along the way. If you haven't checked out my blog yet, breakinginthehabit.org, or liked me on Facebook, Casey Cole OFM, now is a great time to do it. I'll be writing about my experience and sharing pictures all summer, answering questions and taking prayer requests. Come August, I'll be back in the States and ready to get going again. I've got new ideas, segments, and as you might be able to guess from my rather bare room, even a new residence to share. There's a lot to be excited about with Breaking in the Habit, and I hope you will keep me in your prayers and join me along the way.